going on? Why don't you come to work today? And why haven't you been picking your calls? Hey, what happened? Looks like you've been crying. I caught him in the act. You caught who? In what act? I caught Larry and Ikaiti making love on my bed. What? The same Larry that you said hates her? Obviously, that's what he wanted me to believe, so I don't suspect him. Wow. Oh, come on. I'm so sorry. That guy is such a jerk. You know, I always believed there was something off about him. I gave him everything. My life. My heart. My body. My money. I mean... What did I do wrong? Is it my fault no, that no. I'm, I love? No, Chloe, it's not your fault. It's not. You are an incredible woman. That guy doesn't deserve you. Are you going to continue like this? Chloe, you know sooner or later you'd have to move on with your life. Otherwise, Mr. Austin said I should wish you a quick recovery. You won't be able to imagine what happened today at the office. It's obvious that you're not in the mood to talk. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I've been cracking my head. Trying to figure out what I did wrong. I learned how to cook his best meal. I cooked for all his friends and their girlfriends. I even learned new sex styles so that our sex life wouldn't be boring. I did all of that. And he's... He cheats me. Blame yourself for Larry's stupidity. He's just a big asshole. Look. Even if you cook for his whole family, or you give him 30 billion naira or dollars or whatever, or even break your spinal cord just to satisfy him in bed, 
he's still going to cheat on you. Because that is who he is. Listen, Chloe. You are a beautiful woman in every way. You're smart, intelligent, and hardworking. Sometimes I just wonder why he cheated on you with a housemate. But then I remember that he's a peak. And you are a pearl. I know what the Bible says. That when you give pearls to peaks, they will definitely abuse it. Chloe. Look at that. You are a pearl. You should never ever allow anyone make you think that you're otherwise. Okay? It's okay, come on. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Who is it? It was the devil. The devil? Yes. The devil helped you and said it? Maybe. I can't even explain how any of that happened. But thinking about it now, I am very sure that girl must have used Kayamata on me. Yes. Because that is the only way I can explain why I would cheat on you with such a dirty thinking. Stop! You think I'm stupid? Because I loved you? You think I'm stupid? Loved me? Wait, are you saying you don't love me? Oh, you expect me to still be in love with you? A lying, cheating man? Who I caught in bed with my own maid? That was a In my bed? That was a mistake. A mistake? Yes. A mistake you called it? Yes. Let me tell you. Ikaite confessed to me after I fired her that it wasn't the first time. Neither was it the tenth. I blamed myself. I blamed myself after it happened. Until Noah spoke to me and I realized that I'm too good to be with a pig like you. I'm so sorry about everything. Please. Do you know what you're going to do? You will get up. You will go to that door. Walk away and never return. I don't want to ever see you here again. Because if I do, you would not like what I'll do to you. Hey, listen, I may be as gentle as a dove, but if you push me, I can be as dangerous as a venomous viper. Get out! Get out! kidding me <laughs> so you mean after what he did he had the guts he had the boldness to come to your house <laughs> listen to this though he said that he sure that a kaita used kayamata for him that he didn't do it with his kids <laughs> <laughs> it's not only kayamata it's yokozuna <laughs> he didn't do it with his clear eyes but he was able to locate the hole with his clear eyes listen me i told you don't come close to me because <laughs> the next time you do you won't even like what i'll do to you <laughs> Chloe, don't mind him He's just a fool. And guess what? You know, I'm so grateful it happened while we're dating. Because if we're already married, it would have been a different ball game. Yes, it would have been worse. Yes. I just think God is out of your life. I mean, he doesn't deserve you. Now you are at least available for a good man. 
Man, <laughs> no, not thinking about that right now. Honestly, my heart is locked and I've thrown the key away. I am not interested. All I want right now is to work, make money and be comfortable. Ah, oh, come on, Chloe. You still need a man in your life. Well, I don't need a man to make me happy and all my exes have proven that. None of them have been able to make me happy. But not all men are like your exes. Of course not. I mean, look at you. You are, you're a fantastic man. You're a good man. You're like every woman's dream. Come to think of it, why don't you have a girlfriend? It's just unfortunate I can't date you. But you know you're like a brother to me. I just think what that guy was saying. Same um, oh, we can have the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna have the same thing, yeah? Okay, yeah, that's fine. She has friend zoned me. And that means there is no hope. Relax now. It is not that bad. It is bad. As a matter of fact, it is worse. Because I have been demoted from a friend zone to a brother zone. <laughs> is there a difference? Of course there is a difference. Friend zone is better than brother zone because at least you still have hope of asking her out. But brother zone, that is the land of no return. When your brother zoned, it means that she can get naked in front of you and expect you not to get an erection. Mm. That's actually worse. Right. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I should just tell her exactly how I feel. Mm -mm. Don't rush. Just take it slow. Keep being friends with her. Alright, when the time is right, it will happen naturally. I hope so. They're coming. Miss Corey? Yeah. Sir? Yes. Yes. Listen. You know each other? Uh, yes, we do, sir. We're actually coursing this back in the university. Oh, great. That serves me the burden of much introduction. <laughs> uh, that's the marketing strategist I told you about. I want both of you to work. On a project I am respected. Sure, sir. Consider it done. Great! Then I leave both of you to catch up on old times. Miss Chloe? <laughs> Wilson? Thank you, sir. Hmm. Whatever happened to you? I mean, you just disappeared into thin air. I've been trying to reach you for years. Rashtar, what's going on? I can't work with him. I can't work with him. You can't work with him. I can't work with Wilson. You just relax and sit, Chloe. <laughs> just sit down, relax. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, who is who? Who's Wilson? Wilson is a strategist that Mr. Austin just brought. Oh, ah. Uh... He's the marketing strategist that Mr. Austin said would resume work today yes. and would share office space with you. Okay. But why don't you want to work with him? Is the space too small it's for both of you? It's not about the space. He's my ex. Your ex? Yes. We dated for four years. Really? But how come you never told me about him? It's a memory I want to erase for the rest of my life. Is it really that bad? Or did you catch him with your maid today? I'm sorry. No jokes. 
Wilson and I dated for four years from my first year in the university to my last. Until I caught him with my best friend on our final year dinner. At least with Larry, he was with someone who wasn't close to me. But we'll say, he was my best friend. My best friend. Wow. That's really bad. God, I'm really so sorry. You have gone through a whole lot, guys. Wow. I do want to remember it. I don't want to remember. I don't want to have the memories anymore. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. You know what I would do? I will talk to Mr. Austin. I'll try and convince him to separate both of you from the office. But, you know you have to be patient. It's not going to be immediate. I know. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done okay. without you. It's okay. It's all right. Thank you. Ah, Chloe. Listen, I, I'm, I'm so excited to see you. How are you doing? Well, I'm not excited to see you. Actually, seeing you now has messed up my entire day. Why are you talking like that? Wait, hold on. Don't tell me that you're still upset with what happened on our graduation night dinner party. Besides, I clearly stated to you that, I mean, like, yeah, there's nothing... Please. I'm not interested in whatever it is you have to say. Listen, I've had a very bad day and I don't want to make it worse. So if you know what's good for you, stay away from me and stay in your lane. Fine. I thought we were supposed to be working to... So you mean Mr. Austin refused to separate us? Yes, he did. He said that your personal issues are none of his business. What kind of problem is this? I have tried to avoid Wilson all these years. I even blocked him on all my social media platforms only for him to come and walk under the same roof as me. What kind of problem is this? The beautiful thing is we don't even know for how long. But with the way Mr. Austin sounded, it's like it's going to be for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Noah. Noah, for his own sake. Thank you. He better change his mind. He better change his mind because I will not talk to Wilson ever in the office, not to talk or work peacefully with him. So for the good of him and his company, he better change his mind. He had better separate us all. So if you know what you want to go and tell him, Noah, go and tell him he had better separate us. I will not work with Wilson. I won't. I mean it. So okay, yeah. Take it easy. Uh -uh. Just be following me everywhere. Uh, Mr. Wilson, good morning. Please, uh, how many cartons should I load in the car? Uh, I don't know. You're going to have to ask Miss Chloe. Miss Chloe, good morning. Morning. Please, how many cartons should I load in the car? Is Mr. Wilson not here? Didn't you see him? Why didn't you ask him? I asked him. He said I should ask you. People just go about acting like children. Just act, acting like kids. So you just start with the big ones. Everyone Excuse you? Who are you talking to? Who are you referring to? Who is acting like a kid? Well, are you not acting like a child? Since I came into this office, you have refused to talk to me. That is childish behavior. And why should I talk to you? Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. Do you not know that I detest you? So wait, Chloe, you actually hate me that much that you're willing to let that feeling come in between you and your actual job. Really? Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't just hate you. I also detest the ground that you walk on. You know, when I first got here and you started with this whole behavior, I thought maybe this was because of how things ended between us. But now it's very clear to me that you're actually very frustrated. So I'll give you a piece of advice. Why don't you take that frustration somewhere else? Maybe like a psychiatric hospital or something. You're not talking to me. I'm talking to you. You are not talking I to me. I am talking to you. You are going to regret this. Trust me. I promise you. Troubling with my bare hands! 
Chloe, what's up? Why are you so angry? That Wilson, he's really gotten on my last note. And if Mr. Austin doesn't separate us, I swear I'll kill him with my bare hands. Yeah, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Just relax, okay? okay. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> you guys do realize that this is a working environment and not a hotel room. Right. Are you mad? Are you mad? No, I'm just saying this is an office. This sort of behavior is quite unprofessional. Besides, it's kind of making me uncomfortable. This makes you uncomfortable? <clears throat> you know what? I am. Um... I'm just gonna go talk to Mr. Austin and ask him to find me a new office because I don't think I can handle this sort of unprofessional behavior in a workspace. So yeah, just I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why is he angry? I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. All I know is I found something to get him upset and I'll use it to frustrate him. <laughs> you are not <laughs> Oh, she said, I'm going to check out the files in the room for the mouse. Oh, my sister, right? Welcome, sir. Hassan. Sir. Why are these curtains not packed? Sir, it's uh, Miss Chloe and uh, Mr. Wissino. You know. What do you mean is Miss Chloe and Mr. Wissino? Are they the ones to load these curtains into the vehicle? No, sir. But they're supposed to tell me the, the number of the curtain I will load. And haven't they done so? So I meet uh, Mr. Wissino. He sent me to Miss Chloe. And I went to Mr. Miss Chloe. He sent me back to Mr. Wissino. And they're, they're just confusing me, and I'm confused. I don't know what to do. That's why I seated here. Why are these people allowing their issues affect my business? In my company? What other nonsense is that? I won't have it. I will not have that.